Hey, what is up guys and gals? I had an idea for another uh, video here. Since I saw that there's only like one or two other people that have talked about, uh, you know, PG rated films that are actually worth watching. Uh, I saw that Watch Mojo has uh, a list, and then there was somebody that is up there that did like a top 15 PG rated films. I decided that I should do uh, some of my own because it's like you can think of a lot of good like PG-13 films or R-rated films but when it comes to family films it's a little bit harder to come up with a list because a lot of like people that are kids you know like under the age of 13 um, some parents are concerned and they want to get them family films that are rated G and PG. I know when I was growing up, I was growing up in a Christian home. My mom would not allow me or my brother to watch PG-13 or R-rated films as a child. We were only allowed to watch G or PG. So I came up with a list here. Uh, this is going to be a top 20 of the PG movies that I think are worth watching. Now, when I was thinking of G films, there are a few... But, you know, they're like, they're just not something that I feel that my viewers will find worth watching enough. So I had to list something that was a little bit more edgier and more PG. I mean, I've always been more of a PG, PG-13 kind of guy anyways. Because I curse quite a bit, if you guys haven't noticed on my uh, YouTube channel here. Well, anyways, I'm not going to waste time and bullshit. I'm going to... Uh, hop my ass to it and uh, first I'm going to start with the honorable mentions I have a list here because uh, I couldn't think of all these movies off the top of my head so let's see let's go go ahead and I'll, I'll read it like this what the hell Home Alone 1 and 2 the first two Home Alone movies with Macaulay Culkin are masterpieces I mean they are among in the top 10 best Christmas films in all, of all time, in my opinion. And they are definitely family films, and they are they're so much fun to, to watch. I watch them, like, every Christmas. It's too bad that Home Alone 3, 4, and I didn't see Home Alone 5, The New Heist, but it's probably crap. I mean, the, first, the third and the fourth film were utter garbage. Like, they were straight-up garbage. They sucked. They were not good. They didn't have Macaulay Culkin in it, and it just seemed like they were doing the same crap, all the repetitive crap that they were doing before. But the first two, I feel, are really good. Turner and Hooch, that's a pretty good detective movie about this guy. He's got, like, a dog. Um, it's, it's a good film. It's definitely worth watching. Groundhog Day, we all know that one's really worth watching if a lot of people... Uh, I, I think a lot of people have talked about it or still watch it to this day. It's definitely an honorable mention. Back to the Future Part 2 and 3. The reason I have these in an the honorable mention is because I haven't seen either one of them. I saw the first one and that's it. But I know that they're, they're both masterpieces. E.T., The Extraterrestrial. Very good film. That is definitely an honorable mention. Rocky 3. All the Rocky movies, from what I know, are PG. All six of them. Although the sixth one's called Rocky Balboa for some stupid reason. Um, but I think the third one is the best out of all of them because it had Clever Lang in it. The Rocketeer, a good movie uh, by Disney standards. It's like action. You know, and it's worth watching. And the Star Wars franchise. And yeah, I didn't put the third one on there because the third one's PG-13. I third one was what changed the rating because it was a little bit more intense with the violence now we go on to the list I'll give my thoughts on what I think are the best hopefully you guys agree if not you can suck it you can suck it just like Goodwill Hunters would say you can suck it Number one, Goldfinger. Yes, yeah, a very good James Bond film in my opinion. 
Uh, definitely one of the best. I know the Bond movies are PG-13 now because they got some sexuality in them. And there's some language in some of them. Uh, it's not like heavy, but it's there. And uh, the violence is a little bit more intense. But when they were starting out, they were PG. Sean Connery did a damn good job in Goldfinger. It's definitely the best uh, PG movie ever made. Next up is Dick Tracy with Warren Beatty from 1990. Very good uh, detective movie. I really like detective stories, so of course it's up there. Treasure Island, I saw that as a kid. It's a Disney film. A lot of people don't know it exists, but it does. Track down a copy on eBay. You can find it on VHS, or you can probably get it on DVD. A lot of people want DVD over VHS these days. And it's definitely uh, one of the first films I saw as a kid that wasn't rated G because of, like, pirate violence. And it's a really good movie. Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. In my opinion, the best Star Wars movie ever made. Definitely worth checking out. It's got tons of action, tons of ass-kicking. It's definitely the best Star Wars movie ever made. Back to the Future, I really like Back to the Future. It's a sci-fi adventure movie with Marty McFly. Uh, Michael J. Fox plays Marty McFly, and he does a pretty good job at it as like a teenage kid that goes back to the past to change the future. He goes back like 30 years, and it's, it's definitely uh, worth checking out. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I know that in the Temple of Doom or PG. But because of the controversy surrounding the Temple of Doom, because it was really violent, the rating changed with the third film and the fourth film to a PG-13. But the first two are PG, and they're both really good. I hate snakes! Uh, yeah, that's one of the sayings that he says, and I agree with him. I hate snakes, too. Ghostbusters, I loved the first Ghostbusters and the second Ghostbusters with Bill Murray. Bill Murray was very good at making the Ghostbusters movies, and they were PG-rated, and they were worth checking out. The one with the women that came out in 2016 or 2015, that movie totally sucks. Do not watch that one. It's, it's a piece of shit, I swear. Do not watch it. Watch the ones with Bill Murray. Watership Down is at number 8. Uh, it's a movie about rabbits. That's all I can really tell you guys. It's something you have to see with your own eyes. But I can tell you it's definitely a PG film. I'm surprised it didn't get a PG-13 rating. But I guess it's because it came out before the PG-13 rating was invented. But it is a good uh, animated film. It's one of my favorites. And I definitely... Don't mind putting it right there. Alaska was an adventure movie that was worth checking out. It's definitely a good movie. Uh, it's about these two kids, brother and sister, and they go searching for their dad that ends up lost in the uh, mountains due to a plane crash. And they got these little poachers going around killing polar bears. There's two guys that are doing that. It's a, it's a good movie. It's a good adventure movie when i was a kid i was always wondering what alaska was like and then when i saw that movie i was like wow never have a seen excuse me so much snow in my life until i watched that movie now continuing on we got free willy very good film I saw Free Willy 2 and Free Willy 3. I think Free Willy 1 and 2 are pretty good. I think Free, Free Willy 3 was just okay. It was That was at the time Free Willy was starting to get very boring. But the first two Free Willys are masterpieces in my opinion. Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams. Very good film. Uh, definitely worth checking out. If you guys like action movies and they're not like over the top blood and gore violence and full of, you know, fuck shit, ass bitch, you know, and all those other curse words. There's no cursing in this film, so that's why it's PG instead of, like, R or PG-13. Uh, next movie I have up here is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Very good film, but definitely borderlines more of a PG-13 rating. Uh, the Incredibles first Pixar movie to be rated PG due to some like cartoon violence 
of the superheroes, but it was definitely good. I don't know why the hell Pixar took forever to make the sequel. Everybody wanted Incredibles 2, so we had to wait like a good, what, 12, 13 years before we got it? Maybe more than that. Maybe 15 years? I, 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 I don't know. I... But I just know that the the Incredibles franchise is very good for an animated, like action adventure superhero movie. Shrek, Shrek was groundbreaking. You got to put Shrek up there. Shrek is the one that was very successful by DreamWorks. Made DreamWorks who they are today, because DreamWorks at the time was trying to think of something that was groundbreaking. And all the movies that they were coming out before that, like El Dorado. Uh, Atlantis and I think the Prince of Egypt they were good but they didn't like make DreamWorks popular enough until Shrek came along and changed the game for like animated films and it was PG because of some crude humor and cartoon violence but it was very good and that's why they made four Shrek movies and a holiday special which was just alright wasn't very long or good uh, and now they got a whole franchise of movies that are out now, like Over the Hedge and Monster vs. Aliens and all that crap. Ghostbusters 2, the sequel, I, I already talked about that earlier. Very good. Hobart Mall Cop. Uh, I like the first one a little bit more than the second one, but I do think that the second one's pretty good for Kevin James. It's like an action comedy where he's a cop and he's trying to save his family and the other hostages from these like three um robbers they're like trying to take over the mall it's definitely a good action comedy film on for red october it's funny the jack ryan series originally it was pg the first one's pg but then after that they became pg-13 i guess because they were a little bit too violent so you know, this one just slid in there. Just like, oh, yeah, you know, PG. Uh, Sean Connery. Alec Baldwin. But it's a damn good film. Holes. Holes was a good family film about this kid that gets framed. Um, you know, because of his family or... or No, he was in the right place at the wrong time, basically. And he got framed for stealing a pair of shoes. And then he ends up meeting this guy. And he becomes best friends with the guy. But he's at like a concentration camp or some camp for like these like badass kids. It's a good film. It's definitely a good Disney film and worth checking out. War Games, a very good film. You can actually watch this on YouTube for free. That that's one of the good films that they put on there. Besides the Terminator, Daylight's End, Minority Report, and um, Blitz with Jason Statham. There's a couple of them that are good. And this was one of them. And Jaws. Which Jaws is borderline PG-13. According to today's, to today's standards. But uh, Jaws is a good franchise. I like Jaws 2. And Jaws 1 the best. They're really good horror films. Um, Jaws 3 was when the series started to suck. But uh, Jaws 3 I still think is decent. And Jaws 4 is a piece of crap. Don't bother with Jaws 4. It's terrible. Jaws 4 The Revenge. Ugh. Yeah, and I know. Jaws 4 The Revenge was PG-13, not PG. Uh, but yeah, Jaws is like this story about this like shark that's like killing people, eating people up. And uh, then eventually there are like these three or four dudes that decide to team up together to kill the shark in the first film. It was very good and very scary for the first film and it really had a lot of people shocked when it came out in 1975 but definitely was worth checking out and still worth watching to this very day so those are all the movies that i have listed for pg films i know there's a few others like shrek 2 shrek 3 shrek 4 ever after and um, i'm sure there's a few other bond movies i'm missing and you know there's like over the hedge and uh things like that that uh are pg that are actually worth watching i'm sure there's a few action films i missed that were pg that i didn't mention uh uncle buck being another one that had macaulay culkin in it that was actually okay 
and the movie Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is a good comedy. There's a handful of them. Um, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson 2, Sea of Monsters. Um, the list goes on and on, really, for good uh, PG films. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. You guys take care. Bye.